Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to Short Hair Sundays. This week's is actually going to be on Sunday which is a plus and I'm yeah really excited to be back, really excited to be answering your questions. Um, I've got my cup of coffee, I've got my questions here. Um, if you don't already know I am doing a lot of short hair content on my TikTok so um, not going anywhere anything like that but I just wanted to get, like, let you guys know that if you are on TikTok hit a girl up because we are creating a lot of short hair stuff over there mini tutorials reviews styling videos um just kind of short hair point of view like funny little situations and i would love for you to join me on there too because how fun is tiktok it's like so much fun at the moment so yeah side note about that I just plug myself for a little minute so yeah, we've got a few questions to get through today, so I'm really excited. So I hope you're all having a good week. It's very, very wintry here in the UK, very windy. It's not too cold, but it's really windy and like miserable. So I thought this is a perfect day to get a coffee, get cozy and answer some of my questions with you guys. So let's get on with the video. Okay, so my first question is, um, really really kind actually and someone's asked that they'd like to try my hairstyle and how long is your hair on top of your head so my hair is actually quite it's, it's getting quite long for me really um at the moment and i am actually going to stay at this length for for a while i do prefer a little bit more length to it at the moment um i would say it's about a few inches really it's not like this the front part of my hair is the longest and it is literally just a few inches it's not too long at all at all um and then it, it as i said it has been growing for a few weeks now but it's a fade down to a two with the razor down to a one round the sides and the back by all means take a picture to the hairdresser or a video of mine no issues at all but yeah just bear in mind that the length at the top um in this video as i'm speaking to you now is a little bit longer than it usually is um just because we've had a few days growth with it so it's a little bit longer than usual um yeah but it is it is very very short literally when i have it cut it's like sort of two inches max so really short so yeah just bear that in mind right are we liking the i don't know if i prefer it without the scarf i feel a bit bulky what do we think without the scarf no, I think with the scarf. Kind of matches my eyes. I was kind of thinking a bit of a Valentine's theme with the eyes today. I don't know what you guys think. Right, so anyway, I've gone on a little bit there. So the best products to use. So obviously this is all dependent on your hair type. I can only speak from um my own hair really because I'm not a hairdresser or a stylist. So my only recommendations are from my own personal experience. However, I literally will use the same few products without fail every single day. So I've got, I think, five products here to show you that I literally could not live without and I could not do my hair without. So the first one is the Bedhead by TG Small Talk Hair Putty. This is a thicker fire. I think I actually managed to say that correctly today. And it is literally, a dream in a bottle it is absolutely fantastic for short hair for drying for creating volume of thickness i cannot live without this stuff um you can get it in most places to be honest boot super drug um in the uk as well places like the beauty outlet and a few like tk maxx often have it as well so it's brilliant you literally only need about a five pence amount warmed up into your fingertips and i put it through my hair before i blow dry it yeah i couldn't live without it i absolutely love this stuff right so my next product so i then go in with the got to be powderful hair volumizing powder this again is absolutely fantastic um, especially if you have fine hair like myself, I 
Often people sort of think that I do have thick hair and it is literally down to the products that I use and um, this being one of them I cannot live without it. It's just really great you can't go wrong with it it's you do have to wash it out that's the only thing um, a little bit goes a long way I only put it through the front section of my hair just kind of wiggle my hair around and then yeah it's good to go absolutely love this product um yeah this is just my favorite one it doesn't doesn't leave my hair tacky either which is nice so there's a bit of a theme going because another one of these products is got to be they're just brilliant for short hair they really are they're probably the only um only brand on the sort of current UK market that do do products specifically for short hair for females um, and I love to support that really so got to be made for mess texturizing putty you can get this in Superdrug boots and I think you might be able to get it on look fantastic I'll link it below anyway um, I used to love smells so nice as well you can see like i use this pretty much every day and i'm only halfway through they used to do a texturizing spray which was just it was just my crack i just loved it but sadly no longer so yeah stick with this it is brilliant literally just warm up in the fingers as i said before put it through the ends of your hair and it really helps to create that texturized look gives you that pc styled bomb.com look can't live without it would highly recommend um second to last is the fudge urban matte headmaster this is a texturizing spray a texturizing spray as many of you guys will know if you're an og or if you've been around here for a while i cannot live without them they are fantastic especially if, if, if you do want to kind of create a bit of texture um, sort of dishevelled look you just can't go wrong um i don't really have um, i try basically to collect these um this is probably one of my absolute favorites because it does really lock your hair in place as well as texturizing it um the primark one's very good as well the only thing is that isn't always in stock so this is always in stock but it's in the men's section another one i recently found is the lee stafford um this was in tk maxx it's two it was 2.99 in tk maxx this is the effortless texture spray um the only thing is it is quite liquidy so it does come out of here quite a lot of the texture hairsprays do do that to be fair um yeah but for a lived in less done look and that is the perfect description of texturizing sprays they stop my hair from looking too uniform and really do create that kind of disheveled look that we all aim for so they are definitely my five favorite go-to short hair products my next question is what are the top five celebrities with short hair at the moment now i hope you don't mind but i'm not that great with like pop culture celebrities so i've kind of created a bit of a list of a couple of celebrities i know are in the limelight at the moment do have short hair and my sort of other favorite celebrities of all time that have short hair because i don't really know enough celebrities in the mainstream media today i just don't really follow it that much so I've got my pen. I need to bloody put that pen down. I'm always grabbing my pen. Right, I'm not teaching you, am I? Okay, so the two people that I think have amazing hair in the mainstream media today are Dawn French. I mean, has anyone seen her grey bob? Like grey pixie, not bob, is it? It's a grey pixie. I am in love with it. She was on um she was on TV, she's doing a new TV show and I was just blown away it was absolutely incredible and give the girl a round of applause for showcasing you know the gray silver hair and it, it, i was just amazed i've always loved dawn french love everything she stands for um you know being a female in comedy but her hair 
I'll insert a picture if I can find one. Honestly, you guys need to check it out. It is absolutely fantastic. And I think because of that, she's broken a lot of stereotypes as well because, you know, she's a woman of a certain age or above a certain age. She's she's lost a hell of a lot of weight, but she's she's no spring chicken. She's no skinny model and she looks incredible. And I think that's you know part of the problem with short hair there is a lot of stereotypes and also there's a lot of self-limiting beliefs about having short hair you need to be this you need to be that and Dawn French just went no you know what I have short hair and I'm gonna rock it and I love it I love it right next one Portia <laughs> not just because of my baby dog from I don't know what she's from because this is how clued up on celebrity culture I am I think she's a real housewife I will insert a picture on the screen but her hair is amazing she does the pixie she does the shaved hair she does the wigs and I'm here for it she just looks incredible she's the definition of bad girl energy she's a baddie and her hair is phenomenal um I love as well that she mixes it up and I think that's something that's so versatile with short hair. I'm not the best for that, I hold my hands up, I do not experiment as much as Portia does. I don't even watch her on telly, I think I just came across her on Instagram and I was like I need to follow her because her hair is incredible. I think, um, yeah, it's just brilliant and I think you need to check her out. So my other few i've only got four so not many um charlie's Theron. i hope i pronounced that correctly probably not but we move um yeah her hair is just incredible or was because i think she's grown it out now the blonde super close crop pixie absolutely gorgeous ruby rose another absolutely stunning woman absolute beautiful woman um but yeah her hair is just amazing and i think we should all bow down to her hair really and frankie frankie sanford frankie bridge whatever you want to call her her hair is just phenomenal i i do really like it now to be fair she has gone for like a tussled longer bob um but she's definitely short short hair girl energy and was in her heyday when she really did have that really defined pixie when it was really short at the front i just loved it and i'm still really here for it and the last one is pink yeah i i'm still a huge fan of pink um the singer her hair is just phenomenal she i love everything that she is about everything she stands for and everything you know, her hair is part of her personality. That's the kind of vibe I get. And I think it's a symbol and I just, I just love it. I love how she, again, is a woman who stands for different things rather than stereotypical. This is what you need to be to have short hair. This is what you should be. She just doesn't care and she just rocks it. And that just shows, I think to any woman out there you can be whatever you want to be and have short hair and just don't just you know just be yourself so i absolutely love it um another question is how do i cope with negative comments um i'm assuming this is more in regards to my hair and yes when you do have a presence on social media you also have um created a gateway for trolls whether we like it or not it is what it is um and i think my my coping mechanism is i just laugh because i i genuinely don't take them seriously if someone is taking the time out of their day to be hurtful towards you um, whether that's online or in person or whichever I think that is purely a reflection of them and it makes me sad for them it makes it generally does because I'm quite happy content in myself my beliefs my how I look everything like that um, happy enough to put it out online to the world and it, I just think 
this is no reflection on me. Whatever negativity you're putting out is a, a reflection of how you're feeling inside. I'm quite spiritual and just, you know, have a very good understanding of the law of attraction and any negativity that you put out will return back to you. So I don't engage in it, I don't encourage it, I just forget about it. There's not really much else you can do is that. I just don't, it just doesn't bother me. It just doesn't bother me because I, why would I let it bother me? Someone I don't know who doesn't have a profile picture whose name is user 1234. It's just, just isn't even real, is it? So yeah, that's that. Um, haircut. What's a haircut that you would love to try this year? Ooh. If you have any suggestions, <laughs> let me know because I am just so happy with my hair, how it is. I have been for a long time. I think that's why it kind of feels like a bit of a trademark on me now. It's kind of the hair that I feel the most comfortable with, the most confident in. And yeah, it's really become my my favourite hairstyle and I can't see myself changing it. Doesn't mean that I won't. Um, I'm sure something will come up and I will fancy a change. But at the moment, I'm open to suggestions. I really am because I really don't know. <laughs> I used to be always with a fringe and a lot of OG subscribers and viewers will know that. But since I've not had a fringe, it's like for an example on take today like today when it's windy it doesn't matter because my hair's swept back anyway it's just so so easy i've not had hair this low maintenance ever but it still looks styled so it's like perfect so yeah i don't know i don't want to remain boring with it though because i do love experimenting but I've just always reverted back to it. It's such a difficult one, isn't it, really? But yeah, if any of you have any suggestions, let me know, drop me a DM, I'm open to them. Um, will you ever trust your husband to cut your hair? No, I mean, he, I, I'm not married yet, he is my fiance. Um, and we did cut each other's hair in lockdown. He, but he was nervous. I was like, I'll just cut it. And he just did the nape of my neck um, and like my sides. But yeah, I'd be, I'd let anyone really cut my hair, but no, he was a bit nervous. So I trust him with my life. So I would if he wanted to. Um, are you ever going to get your pixie cut shorter? I don't really think I could go much shorter to be fair. I think if I was to go shorter, it would be close, close crop or just head shaved. And at the moment, that isn't something that I am considering. Um, I just really happy with my hair, how it is. Okay, so I think that is all of the questions, guys. I think that is pretty much it. And we have wrapped all of those up for today. So as I said, please, 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 um, if you have any dilemmas, any short hair questions, not only about my hair, about your hair too, I'm really here to help you guys in your short hair journey and I hope to encourage it as much as I can and hopefully help you feel confident in it as well. Um, so I will say goodbye for now guys and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.